This is the Bad Beef Morning Show. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. I'm outside. It's really nice. I have uh, two two special guests today. Uh, it's Cheryl and uh, Joey. Do people actually know you as Joey, Joey? No. Actually, no one knows me as Joey. Except me. So, oops. Well, we, we'll edit that out, but not really because this is live. Um, no, Sloan it's fine. Can... My real name is Joey, not Sloan. I'm uh, I'm glad you guys are both here. What? You... First of all, let's give out our uh, let's give out our handles. I'm at bad be- bad underscore beef, and uh, Cheryl, what's your what's your username? Uh, at c burwell b u r w e l l nineteen seventy. And I am at Sloan Cad S L O N E K E D. And as of my... and that's your uh, your Twitter handle. Yeah, that's my like producer name, my DJ and producer name, with my aliases. So as of last night, we were, we're all on the uh, we were all on the leaderboard. Is that still the case as of this morning? I, <laughs> I don't know. So. We don't know. I don't know what's what's I'm pretty the leaderboard. Sure. I think I'm on the leaderboard. You were as of last night. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I was told something off the air, so I got nervous. So I'm just making sure. Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty if, sure not, I we don't. Have, if not, we have to kick you out. Neve is on the leaderboard. Let me check. Oh, yeah, I'm still there. I'm uh, four under Sloan. My thing doesn't load correctly, so I can't see anything. So. Still. Me and Stony Good. Green keep going back and forth. <laughs> I keep going back oh, and forth with the other, uh, with the other DJ. Micah. Yeah, Two. he he follows me. I don't know who that is. I've never Morgan. watched their streams. He's come in my room, Micah Micah Corn. Micah Alcorn. I don't know. Uh, my, he, yeah, Micah. Me and him are right by each other too. Yeah. He's like some. He's like a college dude. He's cool. Yeah, he he's streams. the one that did that um, tornado stream that one time, and that blew him up on the leaderboard. Oh, okay. I'll see. Very cool. Yeah. So uh, we're just hanging out outside today, guys. This is very fun. Um, what are you guys all up to? You got what are you are you drinking anything, Cheryl? Coffee? I'm drinking iced tea. I drank wine yesterday. We had a Memorial Day over at Chris's parents' house. And everybody drinks over there on holidays and it's usually a pretty good time, so we had fun. Sloan Kid's straight edge, or at least he thinks he is. So we he <laughs> he, he had he had what did, what did you do yesterday? Have fun with friends. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do yesterday? Um Yesterday, I streamed a little bit. I went to the studio. I um, worked on some music. Um, I hung out with my friend Katie for a little bit. Smoked some crack. Smoked some crack. <laughs> Smoke crack every day. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, we uh, drank some Red Bulls. Got all cracked out on caffeine. And then I stayed up late night working on uh, some melodies for a new tune that I'm working on with uh, this girl, uh, this girl singer. Because, you know, you guys have... I think you guys know I've been trying to intertwine some, some singing and, and stuff into my uh, into my music. So it's really different to produce something with uh, with singing. Like the mastering and the editing of it is is a lot different, you know. Yes, I agree. So it's a it's a good challenge. So I'm uh, sure. Are you streaming at all? No. You should. I'm not. I mean, you can if you want. You should. No, I don't want to. You don't? No, I'm just watching yours, yours and chatting with you guys. I would rather do it that way. Uh, I just ended my stream from this morning. So. I, oh, I see. I see. Hey, friends. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go into my room and say hi to people. Hey, friends. Mach 350. Someone said that uh, Micah is awesome. He streamed in a bubble on the water. He is doing a bungee jump, or and and doing a bungee jump. It was awesome. Says Covert Patton. Yeah, he does some neat stuff. He does. Who did that? That Micah. Oh, really? Yeah, he's done some really different things on his streams. He's a very he's got a variety. What did you see? He lives in Ohio. You said right. I don't know where he lives. No, I, I don't, don't think. think oh, you said near, he's near you, but I, you meant on the leaderboard. I got confused. Yeah, he's near yeah. Sloan on the leaderboard. I see. Yeah, me and him go back and forth a lot. Yeah, like me and Stony. <laughs> right. I think it's gonna how it's we're gonna totally be. Totally like. I think it's gonna how it's gonna be for the leaderboard. It's gonna go. We're all gonna move around a lot really fast. So. Yeah. Yeah, it depends. Like, it's weird. Like my streams will have like, as as long my as long as my connection. Like I've been streaming from a Verizon phone. 
and it's like my room's been freaking nuts. Then when I stream from my Sprint phone, like it takes a while to get there because I have to deal with the dropped, you know what I mean, like the drop BS and because Sprint sucks. Oh. So like, I don't know. Even and then I have AT and T Wi Fi and like I'll be literally streaming a set like right next to my router and it'll drop out. And huh. I'm just like, so it depends. It depends how my uh, connectivity wants to work for me. See, and my it, phone's through AT and T, but. I have Time Warner Cable Wi-Fi, and I don't really have a lot of issue with Time me. Warner. Probably has the best Wi-Fi around because it's a digital. Yeah. It's like a cable. Yeah. It's not satellite BS. Yeah, I haven't had too many issues. I mean, I think the only issues that I've had have been more so with Meerkat dropping the stream than right. issues with my Wi-Fi. Covert Patton is asking. Uh, please ask Sloan where he got the picture behind him. He loves that. Uh, he loves that photo. It's actually a painting. Uh, my roommate, uh, Plank and Rankin, he's a, he's a really good artist. I think he's the one that introduced Meerkat to me. Um, he was streaming for a little bit, but then he just he got busy, you know what I mean? He, he watches people's streams and stuff now. But uh, he hand-painted that. It's like, a, um, it's like a cross between Daft Punk and Pulp Fiction. I do like yeah, that. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, it's a sweet little, little deal. So yes, yeah, so on your streaming, so you're allowed. you feel free to go through your stream and read any questions or uh, comments. Right, I'm gonna thank Stiletto for the retweet <laughs> manual. The uh, morning show with bu- 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 bad beef. Uh, yep, that's that's a good. Oh, second name. Um, a lot of people in my stream right now are talking about uh, this dude, this homeless guy we met named Franklin. I don't know if you guys saw that stream. What's his meerkat? Franklin? No, I missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, beef. <laughs> I want to watch him stream. <laughs> He's He's he can very oh, so God. have an iPhone. I've seen it. Yeah, I have too. That's <coughs> yeah. He probably has a, he has a, probably has a bigger storage iPhone than you do, Sloan. <laughs> He's probably got that sixty-four gig. I got a one hundred twenty-eight gig, bro. All right. Bro. Well, okay. Oh, so uh, so I like to ask. Okay, so we'll go through. What is uh, Sloan? What is your uh? Okay, so what's your phone? Did you use from your cat? I use an iPhone six. So iPhone 128. six. One hundred twenty eight. What color? White and gold. And on Sprinter. Yeah. Good old fucking Sprint. Are we allowed to curse on here? Yeah. All right, good. I mean, you already did it. I love that's my favorite thing when people <laughs> I ask that they say, "Fuck." Oh, we're allowed. Are we allowed to swear? I was gonna. I was gonna change it. If you don't it. see me rushing for it to press the dump button, we're not on uh, televised FCC radio. So I usually let people know. That's good. So I'm trying to think about some other questions. Um, well, that's what my my was saying. Like the people in my stream are talking about. Um, Franklin was this dude we just bumped into. Like my friend and I. Like, cause like you know how like my streams are about like. Um, I, you know, produce music, DJ, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I just like, I like to mix it up like that. Um, Micah kid, you know what I mean? Like I'll go do some sort of shenanigans, um, go around town in Cleveland, just go on adventures and stuff. And I I met this girl like literally a week ago today. Um, We were like, had mutual friends. She was standing there. She was really hot. And I was like, hey. What's up? You know what I mean? Got her number, and then we just been like hanging out, and we started. We had this idea of like the Kate and Ked show, which is like we just go on adventures and screw around. She's like a female version of me, which is very scary. Oh yeah. I've oh seen god, her. I would not want to see her. that. She's good. She's good looking though. So how would she's you? She's good that? looking, and she's she's got a good personality too, though. She does. Right. Shut up, Beef. I know you're going with that. Shut up. Um, I would have a nightmare. <laughs> no but yeah so she um we just started hanging out and like we i was like we i wanted to go geocaching because i heard all about this this geocaching business and i'm like what the hell is this about and it's like uh it's basically like it's like an adult scavenger hunt so you just get it's, it's kind of fun you know what i mean it's kind of cool way to break the ice like if you're hanging out with someone summertime Hanging out with someone of the opposite sex, hanging out, kicking it, whatever. Um, it's uh, I don't know. It's a good way to like get to know them and you know get out, do stuff in the summer, sun, blah blah blah. Um, 
No, I get it. Yeah, so we started doing that, and like it's been, people have been DMing me like, when are your, when's your guys' next show? Like, you guys need to stream together more. So yeah, probably gonna be doing more of that stuff. Kind of keep it. I like to keep my like viewers guessing. Like, what the hell is this kid gonna do today? You know what I mean? I guess that's the positive of having unlimited data. <laughs> yeah. Covert Patton is wishing everybody a good morning. Thank hey, you for your likes and retweets. Yeah. People are saying, Beef and Slow on the same screen, mind blown. And people like us together, Sloan. I'm surprised. What happened? <laughs> and so, then there's me. And then there's you. People don't know who you are. I'm just no. kidding. People love you. You always you have more hopping rooms than I ever do. Right. You think? Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I know so. Or like whenever I stream and Cheryl does, I'm like, where is everyone? I'm like, oh, probably in Cheryl's room. Yeah, driving. fucking Cheryl. Fucking Cheryl. <laughs> uh, Lisa said it's Stony. Yo, 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 from Love Nail Polish. Hello, world, from uh, MJH2020. Hello, Gene Wilder. Uh, Sean saying, uh, Mirror off to the doctors, but wanted to stop by and support you and at Sloan. Thank you so much. Uh, Sean, thanks for likes and retweets. Brunus Diaz says uh, Ryan Dupree. Uh, Outdoor Cam, yes, is it's fun. Thanks for the likes and retweets, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Um, <laughs> go with the flow, yo. Uh, let's talk about Sloan's. Oh yeah, we t- uh, yep yeah, we said that. Uh, let's see, she barrel. Oh, I remember I when you. I remember. Uh, sure. Oh. Uh, Sean 94403 says shoe barrel uh, 1970. Remember, I always have your back. Yeah, he does. Um, he does. Elisa over here said she loves you too. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, I love Elisa. Photos. Elisa, cur- Elisa cusses a lot, though. I love cussers. Yeah, she's a foul she mouth. She doesn't cuss a lot. No, she I, she literally is such a sweet, innocent girl. I know. And the one day she was streaming and she slipped saying fuck. And it was like the end of the world. So I tease her constantly now. <laughs> That's so because funny. Because she said that. Because it's so not her. Photos by Rob says, whoever it was is so not worth time, Cheryl. Uh, a douchebag, whatever it is, it was. End of story. Um, let's see. Ryan the Pre giant meerkat jam. Let's do it. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. A easy. Thanks for the love. Uh... Let's see, let's see, let's see for a while. Well, Ledger, thanks for <laughs> like re- said, that was one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I RF, know, but she'll never live it down. RF Jetson says, Sloan, were you just on uh, Lee's stream? We're on everybody's stream. We love each other. Yeah, like, we go to everybody's like, stream. Man. I think Lee has a crush on me. So I got to stop in and mess with him from time to time. Someone, Gene Wilder says, uh, uh, Gene Wild share. I can't pronounce that name. I don't know if you guys. It's Gene Wilder's Gene Wilder's hair. hair. Oh, yeah, Gene Rowlander's awesome. here. Mika is a great ambassador on for Meerkat. He does uh, a lot of man on the street stuff. Um, I like that kind of stuff. Uh, let's date geocaching. Oh, first date geocaching. Someone says, <laughs> "On Ray McNasty, I know who you are. Um, I don't know if you're still in my room, but hi, Shelby. Thanks oh for stopping gosh. in. Um, that's so funny." Uh, so I think it would be fun to hear each of you do your first impression of each other. Uh, oh, you best... In, okay, so you guys have to do... We have to do... Okay, maybe that means all of us. So we have to do... Oh, I've already done impressions of Sloan, and he hates it. He hung, out, he hung up on Skype. He twice. hung up on my Skype twice. Yeah. I'm going to do it anyways. Yeah. All right, we're about to lose Sloan. So okay, th- everyone, everyone go find Sloan at Sloan Cad, uh because he's about to hang up on the Skype, because he's going to get out. Oh, look at me. I get my <laughs> feelings hurt. Boop, bloop. I ended the Skype. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> no, I have to try to do Cheryl. Is when you do it. I can just. I just have to do like a laugh. I just want to do Cheryl's laugh. But then yeah, I'll... my laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I have to do like crazy <laughs> clown laugh, and it's not going to be a, a polite at all. <laughs> all right, now it's your guys' turn. Oh my God! Sloan, I, I Sloan can't. Kid, do you want to go first? You can. Do, you have to do yeah. Cheryl, and then Cheryl will have to do you. Oh. All right. Um. <laughs> um. You can. You, you can pick. Know. You can pick what who you, you do first. Me or you have to either do me or, or Cheryl first. I'll do you first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See, this is the problem. Like, I have the the laughing giggles this morning, so I'm not gonna be too good at it. But. Oh. 
I'm bad beef. I eat fucking muffins and have witty repartee and talk shit to everybody. <laughs> and I fucking have a radio show. And I have a bunch of cool fucking t-shirts. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I forgot to wear a fun t-shirt today. I think it's cool that you that's your style. Yeah. I've been well for Bad Beef Morning Show I usually do I've been trying to do fun shirts, but I forgot to that's do that. That's why this I morning. wore white today. Alright, so now let's let's have uh let's have Cheryl do me. You can either do me or do Sloan. You can pick. Uh okay, I'll do you. Right. Here, hang on a minute. So you both have to do each other for a second. <laughs> I don't know how to do Cheryl. You should be using those nice ass headphones. Here here we go. Hey everybody, it's bad beef. I'm gonna go make some pizza. Love pizza. <laughs> My friend Katie's gonna come over later. Jesus Christ, I have one friend. We're gonna friend. drink some wine. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, was that both of us together? I think it was like. <laughs> yeah, kinda. <laughs> like a bad or no, here. This is this is Sloan. He's got the one. He's got the one, and he's just <laughs> just Jesus jerking off someone. Apparently, like jerking off with one earphone before. <laughs> There's Sloan jerking off with his earbuds on again. Yeah. There I go. <laughs> never know, never know what you're gonna get on my stream. See, this is when I need Chris here. Chris can do amazing impersonations. I can't. Now Sloan kid has to do you. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> There, I did it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, all right, hold on. Covert pants and Sloan equals impression of went straight to beef bashing. <laughs> Here's Cheryl. Is that her drinking? With her big fucking two liter cups. See, look at this shit. It's huge. That's a freaking vase. It's not that big. You drink out of a vase. <laughs> so funny. No, I just I tried to do what beef does to me. What are you doing? <laughs> um, get off the couch, man. It's leather. Get out of here. Um, no, it was just funny because beef was doing that for twenty minutes straight. I kid you not. Of you. Oh. I'm Sloan. I help the homeless. I feed them sandwiches. Look at me. <laughs> I think of others before myself. Right. I'm straight edge. And he did it for 20 minutes, and I I'm was just straight, like... Oh, no, funny. I want to do it. I, can, I have 20 minutes to fill. I almost want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Either we can, end the, we can have 20 minutes of just me, because Sloan will hang up, or... Right. Then there'll be a Cheryl and uh, Bad Beef. <laughs> That's the cool part about Skype, though. Like, <laughs> you can hang up. <laughs> I know. It's so nice. I can just go, bloop, bloop, goodbye. And it makes that cool hang-up noise. Because, like, smart... That's what I miss about flip phones. Like, smartphones, you're like, oh, and you hit the button all hard, and it doesn't do shit. <laughs> the flip phones, you could, like, clap it, and it, like, gave you some type of satisfaction. But Skype does that, so you hit the button, it's like... Bloop. What the hell? Are you guys having a staring contest? I don't know what we're doing. No, I'm just trying to do, type in stuff to the TriCaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on. Well, this is a perfect time to tell you guys about... That's what I about, for my bad beef. I love you guys, but patreon.com slash bad beef. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash bad beef. That is... I want to make sure I put it right in the video. P A T R U N dot com slash bad beef is where you can help support the Bad Beef Morning Show. For as little as a penny per month, you can help support the uh, awesomeness of the Bad Beef Morning Show. Cheryl, sure, quit it. Stop. Stop being Stop. silly, guys. Um, but yeah, guys, you guys have been uh, very supportive up, and so, up until this point. So uh, yeah, the goal for today is to get one more patron. So go on over and support. Uh, go, go support. You can get uh, things like private access to Skype. Uh, you know, if you were supporting the patron, you might hear Cheryl's secrets later. But if you don't do that, you won't hear them. So I'm just saying, that's how you True. get it. That's how you get that shit, guys. Thank you so much for uh, those who do support. And uh, one more time, p a t r e o n dot com slash bad beef. I put that link in the chat room, and I'll do it again. Uh, thank you guys for being uh, supportive and awesome. And if you don't do it, you guys suck. But it's okay. I still love you. It's just not the kind of love you would want <laughs> it's, a bad, it's a different kind of love uh, yeah what's up guys I'm uh, so glad you guys are both here 
Okay, so we get. Well, I have to get to Cheryl's. What is Cheryl's uh, meerkatting gadget? So, what is your iPhone or meerkat device of choice? I have an iPhone 5S, but I'm Very waiting until nice. September. I'm due for an upgrade in August, but I'm waiting until September for the new iPhone. I just gave my mom my, my uh, 5S. Yeah. I got back her old 5, and it's like separated from the screen <laughs> a little bit. It still works though. So. See, Dude, I, I have, have I have dropped this phone countless times. I cannot believe my screen has not shattered. I've dropped mine. I have so. one little hairline crack like down here in the bottom corner is all I have. And I ha literally Chris is like how do you keep dropping your phone and it not break? That's I don't funny. know. It hasn't broke yet. I've only I have broken case. one phone. This case is a Neo Hybrid. It's called a Spigen case, and it's better than any OtterBox I've ever had. It's got like a steel um, bumper around it with a My rubber. My son's got that. Piece. Yeah, it's better than OtterBox, and it was like twenty dollars cheaper. Because I've dropped this thing. Like my buddy, when I was in Florida, I, he has a truck on a lift kit, so I was like five, six feet in the air, and it fell right on the screen on uh, concrete, and it didn't even phase it. Yeah. I love those crazy tests where they like throw it off buildings. Yeah, I know. I'd love to do that. I used to do that when Otterbox, like the Otterbox Defender for the 4S when I worked at Sprint. People used to be like, well, I don't want an Otterbox, those suck. And I'd throw my phone across the mall and be like, go get my phone. And they'd go get it and there wouldn't be anything wrong with it. And they'd buy one. That's how we'd sell them. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. <coughs> so I'm going to read some more, uh, some more things. Uh, John Carmentin, good morning to you. Thank you so much for the uh, likes and the emojis. Yeah, guys, if you haven't already, please like and retweet. Uh, if you don't want to go over to patreon.com slash badbeef, just go on over and uh, hit like and retweet. That's a form of currency as well. Oh, Jesus. Um, someone said my bad. I don't know what's bad. You're fine. So the lack of impressions proved they don't watch each other, huh? I think we all watch each other. Um, yes, we do. No, we just we don't want to offend each other. And I, I'm a, I don't want uh, Sloan to hang up because then I have to go in the TriCast and switch things around. It would take like five seconds. So just I just don't want to do it. Um... Ooh, that's weird. My uh, the Cheryl's video on the other computer went out. Oh, there it is. She's back again. All right. Yeah, I popped. All right, All right so. let me get this straight. I don't hang up on beef until he makes fun of me for a solid ten to fifteen minutes straight. Yeah, well, I think it was. I think it was only about. I I remember about five minutes. No, okay, you kept coming back and revisiting it, and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> it would just get quiet, and then you'd hear, oh, and I'm like, oh Jesus, here it comes again. Let's have one tonight, bored. I know. Um, but no, like the people in my stream are uh, asking about, they wanted me to tell you guys about Franklin was this guy. We were, uh, me and my friend uh, Katie, we'd have this like episode thing, like the Sunday show with Katie, Kate and Ked, and we'd just go, go to the city and like just kind of fuck around with people and do our thing. And I was walking and this dude, you know, I was talking about the meerkat movement, the stream before, and dude was like, hey man, I got a dollar. I, can you help me get a bologna sandwich? And I was like, this happened to me when I was at school too. And I was like, you know what I mean? I just sold a few iPhones. So I was like, yeah. I was like, come on, where's the store? I'll buy you some food. So we went and got him like a loaf of bread and a pound of like some good ham and shit so he could have like a good meal. And he was like really, really cool. I felt so bad for him. He had on like boots, like size 11 boots that were duct taped together. And he had on all winter clothes, a beanie, and he's 54-year-old black dude who's cool shit. His name was Franklin Theodore Delano Roosevelt Payne Jr. It's like the longest name ever. Wow. So we just chopped it with him for a minute. I mean, we went and sat out of this place called, uh, it's called like Cat and Noodles or something. It's some like new, like new age fusion place, you know, with like the cool hipster furniture and shit. That looks like it's about to break. <laughs> and it looks all vintage. But anyways, we sat there and he wanted to interview, you know, and talk with us. So we interviewed him. Um, and he just was telling us his struggles, like, you know, that he, he had to grow up real fast when he was 12, abuse of a father, he's been on the streets for four years, he survived four winters in Cleveland, which is nuts, because beef, you know, like, being in Detroit, like, in the snow belt, like, our winters are fucking freezing cold. So, they are. we just talked to him, and he made a sandwich, and the owner of the noodle place brought us out some, like, ice cream balls and gave them to us for free, so we sat there and had them with them. And then he said, you know, sometimes I sing to myself, and I was like, Really? I'm like, do you want to sing? He started singing. He had, like, an amazing voice. Like, it gave me goosebumps and, like, almost brought tears in my eyes. It was just crazy. Like, 
and you and you just freestyle sing about like his struggles, like about stuff that he was going through. So it was like, I don't know, it was just so awesome to be, you know, that there was a divine appointment that we were the right place, the right time, and and we got to like you know kick it with this dude. And like that's what I like about in my streams is like. I'm down for whatever. I'm a really spontaneous person, especially if, uh, you know, someone less fortunate asks for help. And he didn't do drugs. He didn't drink. He was just straight up, up and down looking for work, and he's been in a struggle for four years. So um, we're going to meet him this Sunday again. I'm going to take him some clothes and uh, get him some shoes from a Goodwill or something like that. Because he has a size 13 and a half, which is a little bigger than mine. So right. go sit down. Is that what you said to him? You said, go sit down. Bad boy. Bad boy. Um, Cheryl Does anyone said, want a Cheryl husky? Said, what is that? Dog? Anybody want a dog? No. I do. Your dog's adorable. Cheryl says, we do watch each other, but I suck at impressions. I do. Love Neil Plush. I don't miss the flip phone uh, crap, but I, I still use one. That's funny. Uh, Betsy Boop, thanks for the likes and retweets. Hi, guys. Hello. Stoner Green, thanks for the likes. Uh, you said, get the life proof, son. Um, I cracked my iPhone. I sneezed oh, yeah. and, my, and my iPhone cracked. Um, <laughs> MJH is asking, what do you guys, what do you guys thoughts on uh, whether or not we, uh, categories are needed in Meerkat? And I think people are just trying to still argue that, but I think categories are just, in, uh, just kind of a content management uh theory so i don't know what do you guys think should it be categories on meerkat or no i don't know i don't know i think i like the whole if it's not broken don't fix it it's been pretty pretty solid so far so well i mean we're three months also three months in true i mean i don't know i mean i don't know it's uh... I see it from both sides. You know what I mean? I see it from a streamer's point of view where I want to be able to stream what I want to stream, when I want to stream it, and then I also see it from a parent's point of view where some of the content is maybe not appropriate, but then then again, that's the parent's job. You know what I mean? It's their job to see what their kids are and aren't doing, but I don't know. I, I'm kind of, I see both sides. What if Netflix doesn't have categories? Yeah. Like, how could you find movies? How could yeah. you find movies? And there's just as many streamers as there are movies, I would say. Close well, to it. I don't know about that. I, well, I mean, not, I mean, not meerkat <laughs> streamers, but stream, streams in general there are. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, like I said, I see both sides of it completely legitimate, both sides. I, I'm just, I'm neither for nor against, or I'm just kind of neutral. I'll go with whatever. Some people are I mean, saying, I, "Go ahead." I kind of do think categories would be cool, so you know what you're watching. And Chat I room, think you, lo- as- you, you go in too and let us know. What did you say? Uh, so now I was just trying to say uh, the, to the chat room top. I want their answers as well. Oh, sorry, yeah. Sloan. Yeah, I mean you. Yeah, my stream too. If you guys want to chime in, but like, I think if there were categories, the more there's going to be more and more and more and more streamers. I've been noticing like. Uh, just trying to look for like it says like Tiffy streaming and I look for her or if it says Cheryl streaming and I go to look and you know on the um, home screen there's so many more people so with the category it would be uh, you know if like hey I want to watch a music stream or I want to watch some informational or something on techie you know some new devices you know it would be nice to know where to go um, that's where my where my view is on it um, it would save a lot of time but I think it's kind of cool right now the aspect of you don't know what you're going to get um, you know what I mean? You click on someone's stream. I don't want to be confined as like the music guy because I like to go help people in the community. I like to dick around. I like to fuck with people. Um, I like to have, uh, like I said, I like to keep my viewers guessing. Like, you know what I mean? If I only did music, then I'd only right. get people on my stream that like music. I wouldn't get right. people in that, that love to help their community. Like Gene Wilder's here. And um, like some, some nights I'll do like uh, deep talks, like uh, just about my life and the struggles I've been through. And I get to meet some amazing people and, and see what they've been through. And, and if I didn't, if I was confined to just streaming music, I wouldn't be able to meet half the people I did. So right. it's, it, it like goes both ways for me. Yeah. Um, hold on a second. I, my mailman's coming. No problem. To the door. I got lots of things to say. Uh, D skills. Yeah, Cheryl. Um, I don't know what I was going to say after that, but I like you. I like you, Cheryl. Thanks. <laughs> I like you, too. 
Uh, this would be a good time to say, do if people have, uh, do, is there anything you would like to uh, uh, tell people where to follow you or what to do, how to uh, support you? Uh, you can obviously follow her on Meerkat. She's on the leaderboard. Uh, does awesome early morning streams. Is oh, uh, for me a very good motivator for the morning, especially if you're not a morning person. It's it's kind of fun to hang out with someone who is, uh, even if she isn't. She definitely pretends to be. Um, <laughs> So, I, I'm, I'm a morning person. I am. I am, I mean, I am I, too. I, 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 it takes me, you know, like a good half hour, 45 minutes once I wake up to, you know, be ready to stream. But then once I start streaming, I'm all in, I'm awake, I'm ready to talk about whatever. Um, but then, you know, I, I don't just do the coffee streaming either, you know, because I don't know, as, as some people know, I'm engaged to Chris. And a lot of times Chris and I will stream together and he gets crazy. Like What's he's Chris's nut. username? Um, he, he's at Snidey7, S-N-Y-D-E-Y-7. Um, and, you know, he was doing some parodies for a little while there of a pretty popular meerkat personality. And he called himself Cora. Um, his, stream, his stream was really funny. He got a lot of positive feedback from doing that. It was just like a, a, a SNL skit is what he was doing. Um, so, you know, he got some positive feedback from that, but, um, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, um, as far as his parody anymore, just because of some recent, um, things that have transpired, um, on my behalf, I guess. Uh, but we'll just leave it at that. (laughs) All right. Let's see. So yeah, people can follow you also on Twitter. Same username at C bureau 1970. How would you spell that? C B U R C B U R. Well, W E L L, nineteen seventy. Let's see. D skills. Thanks for the likes and retweets. Uh, someone said he made that up. Shelby, that's funny. Um, yeah. Just Corbett Pants has just supported the Bad Beef Radio Show. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, ba- uh, Patreon.com slash Bad Beef. That's P A T R E O N dot com slash Bad Beef. Yeah, Patreon's a pr- uh, fairly big. So if you just search for that, you'll be able to find it. And then just put Bad Beef, Bad uh, Beef, all one word. Um, <clears throat> yes. I'm uh, also on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Uh, Instagram is Cheryl Burwell70. Awesome, awesome. So. Let's see. RF Justin says, yes, categories. D says, no categories. Uh, Gene Wilder's hair says, yes, we need them. Uh, D says, we don't want to put be, we don't want to be put in a box. I like free range streaming. Yeah, I don't think it'd be, I like, for example, Tumblr did where they had, uh, like leaderboards for like a general leaderboard. So like the, what the uh, leaderboard is here on Meerkat now with it's everyone. But then they also had subject categories for art and everything. So, you know, for example, um, you know, Herbie might be the only, uh, you know, ride sharing left, you know, on the, on, you know, on the, on the main leaderboard, but on for ride share, there might be a bunch of other people that are hard hitters that you're missing. Uh, right. You know, Cheryl wasn't, you know, luckily Cheryl's a hard hitter and she's, you know, ambitious and got on the leaderboard. But if it wasn't for she would have been on, you know, any other, you know, a talk chat kind of, you know, leaderboards way before anything else. And, you know, so I kind of um, think it would kind of feed people up to the top. So I think it would give people the opportunity just to see who's the hardest hitter on Meerkat and it will be, you know, the people on the leaderboard, but then also, you know, subgenres. Right. Um, I think it would be nice. So the generalist here said, sometimes folks may not want to watch something you're doing that day. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah, I'd like to kind of be able to almost put like, hey, today I'm doing this, today I'm doing that. I know I can deal with the title, but I want something where it's more filtered. Right. How can you categorize something that's spontaneous? You can't. So I would hope to just be in an NSFW category if that, you know, maybe an NSFW category high up. And I might be on the tech category lower down. Like, so I might, right. you know, I mean, you might be on the comedy theme pretty medium and then you might be on you know not just you just but like art you know makeup or whatever so you could do that you know it could be higher up on that but lower on something else and you know something else so we can almost get you know i would love to be at high on the nsfw medium on the tech and then um you know somewhere medium on the comedy just kind of like i would like to kind of be there but not you know i think i don't know i think it, i think sub no, I are important too yeah um so your stream changes categories for the day. Yeah, I wouldn't mind uh, so much as that. And I guess it could, because uh, it could technically, something could reach the top of a leaderboard on another category and not the actual leaderboard. For example, when people were doing, you know, new live news categories, it might rocket to the top of the news. And then you'll right. see, you know, so I think that would be, you know, hashtag hire me, fucking America. I have so many ideas. And they're all just ideas that I've just seen from YouTube and Netflix and Tumblr right, right. and... 
Um, let's see, Brian uh, Arnold, thanks for the likes and retweets. Categories don't define you, they define your content for that stream. Yeah, I agree. Um, so yeah, but I think NSFW is still a, a genre, a wide genre. I think that even if I'm streaming from, you know, the bar, I'm going to be funny. Even if I'm streaming from a amusement park, I'm going to be funny. I think I'm a, I think I can kind of sub genre, sub categorize myself as it happens. I'm going to wave to that person. Hello, person. Welcome to the Bad Beef Morning sorry, Show. Sorry, this is new to me, man. I think this is pretty cool. It wasn't the mailman. It was like my, uh, my lifelong buddy. I've known this dude for like 20 years. He just stopped by to say what's up. Well, thank you. Does your buddy have a name? My name is Mike. Hi, Mike. That's so Hi. much work. So much work. <laughs> All right, let's go see. Uh, categories don't define you, but they limit you. I, w- I would say they do and they don't limit you. Um, I think it depends. Like, I, d- I don't know. I think it would help you more than it hurt you in anything. Uh, Gene Rallis here says, All one produces movies aren't categories into one genre. Uh, I would I would like, agree that too, but I think my streams would... <laughs> I don't know. I think streams almost need to be categorized too. I don't know. There's so much work to do. But um, streams can go into multiple categories. Yes. Definitely. So I think, for example, if I if I was able to, you know, if I was to be at an Apple event streaming, it might rise to the top of the tech category for that day, but it might go back down because someone else is going to be a harder hitter than that. And I think it, even with just you know the the point system, I think it would kind of that. I think it's, I think it's all all within yeah. reach. Yep. See, Gene Rallis here says, now you're change, uh, you change your category depending on your stream that day. It's stream will be. Well, I don't think you would be. I think you could set, but I would. La- I want multiple categories. I don't want to just be all only defined to uh, comedy. I want it to be able to be. Uh, um, um, I can't think of the word, but just uh, just to move freely, kind of. Um, I forget what they call it for like uh, responsive. I want it to be responsive to what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not about permanent categories. I think I would be in a permanent category for NSFW, but I think it's just, you know, I think it depends. You know, if, for example, if uh, Jim Gaffigan run, went on, he might rock it to the top of comedy, but then after, you know, he's done, he might go back down or something just based on uh, other people. Um, so I think it would help with discovery. If they do categories beef, who would would you be on the sexy category? I would be on the NSFW category, and I'd be fine with that. I have so many ideas too. We see eye to eye. I, I like seeing eye to eye. Cheryl is being a goofball there. Life partner, huh? Can you scope and see topic change? Um, yeah, yeah. So, so streaming's fun and it's gonna happen, but you know, you never know. I don't. know, What do you guys think? I just wanted to get through all those, uh, get through all my co- comments real quick. So I. I just, yeah, yeah. I mean, I agree. Totally. I see both sides of categorizing and I I don't know I think there's so many people who could go into multiple categories for sure but there's some people who in my opinion would definitely be in one category alone <clears throat> definitely no definitely yeah yeah, I don't think it, yeah, I think the people that are wanting to do things well you know and then obviously the, if they have they would run a category they're more focused but um, I think I could be focused on just being the top in NSFW but also slowly organically rise in the comedy aspect so i think yeah there's, there's lots of things and we'll change the topics because it's getting very technical but um let's see what do you think about the over 50s casting is there room for us old farts here says mr rockford i agree completely i told this to cheryl before Absolutely. like i don't know if it was off air but like people i was telling her like people are in the exact same position as her she's she's on you know possibly a second marriage in the older and they're getting married now. and there's so many people that are exactly like you who are so excited for you um much more than you could ever even be excited you could even possibly imagine your own excitement people are just so excited because they're like holy crap i'm not the only one out there like my mom is the exact same people. like i want to get my mom on your streams i swear to god like i don't want to categorize you as a mom but like like it's i don't know i think it's just so valuable and i really do i think i think i like seeing younger people streamer but but also you know i think people give take this with a grain of salt too um I try never to say my age because I people I know people I know I'm younger so they might not respect me or whatever right. but um, yeah I think um, obviously with even with old media age and experience is always respected um, absolutely like I I'm 45 I'm not afraid to say I'm 45 I know there are a lot of women who are very it's in your username you know yeah exactly I'm not afraid to say I'm 45 years old I'm a mother of two who are in their 20s now. I, ha- I was a young mother, 
Um, I've been through a lot of life experiences, and I'm happy to share that with people, you know, so they know that they're not the only one going through something or, you know, I've been through a lot of struggles in my life. You know, I've been through being homeless. I've been through, you know, addiction. I've been through so many different things in my life. And if I can share with somebody how I overcame those obstacles, I'm happy to do that, you know. It's therapy for, at least for me, it's therapy for me. It's therapy for my viewer. Yep. Um, it's it's just it's a reason to get up it's a reason to yeah. like you know keep going it's a reason for people other people to like you know push you into doing stuff my motivation comes so so much from the Mirakid audience and I so yeah. appreciate that yes absolutely were you going to say it's something like, Sloan? My, like my view on it is I feel like we all have a story to tell like um, someone the other night um, they, they asked my story and I told them, they were like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. You know, I didn't mean to pry. And I was like, pry away. Because it's so prevalent is that we all have a story to tell. And, like, you don't know who's listening. You know what I mean? You don't know what life you're going to save. You don't know someone in their room contemplating suicide that hears your story and right. says, oh, my God, you know, there right. is someone else like me. There is someone that shares my struggle. Maybe I should talk, reach out to them or someone to get help. Yeah. And you know what I mean? And, like, that's just it. It's like that kid who sent me a letter. Um, he said a he sent me a letter. He gets bullied a lot. He doesn't have friends, and he can't wait to see my stream. So he he feels a part of that. You know, I comment back and forth with him, and he's cute because he thinks I'm a celebrity, but I'm not. Um, but like, it's cool. You know, he's able to like I'm able to talk with him, and you know, he said he was contemplating suicide or cutting himself and stuff like that. But because he knows he's not alone and that he has struggles. Um, I could have potentially saved a life or, or one of you could have, you know, like Cheryl telling her story or beef, your story and just joking around with people and making people feel a part of, even though that's why I think Meerkat's so important and, it, and it's such a good app is because, um, because it's like probably one of the most efficient ways of communication right now, besides like talking on the phone with complete strangers. It's so, definitely a way to I mean, reach a multitude of people. You can right. reach so many people on this app, and you don't you don't ever know who you're going to touch or affect or inspire or whatever. So I mean, and that's that's exactly why I don't want to be confined to one um, one say genre. Right. I mean, that's just like my music too. Like I'm not I don't consider myself just like a house producer. Or a DJ, you know what I mean? I produce multiple genres and do things like this. Like with my streams, I like to do communicative things with my community. I like to do stuff on fashion because I'm a big fashion head. I love music. I love, I love just talking to people. So it's like, unless you can like, def unless you can define your own stream, you know what I mean? Unless you were given the option to put like, before you stream, you click what this stream's going to be about. You can click if it's going to be. Um, verbiage sensitive so if there's younger kids they could see like the like you were like you did beef you know what i mean where you show the little like warning that there's you know language and maybe sexual content and or whatever yeah i started off my streams always did i always put an sfw and i stopped doing people like why are you doing that and it's like i don't i don't know it's just and i stopped doing i kind of wish i didn't just only because of the, the it's like kind of like twitter where you it only shows a certain amount of characters but um, yeah, I don't want people wasting their time. Even I don't want people to. I don't want waste people's time. And as a viewer, I don't want to be have my time wasted. So, right, uh, right. Jose, um, in my stream, Jose said they need to to make it easier to find new streams. Because yeah, like there was this girl yep. last night, and, and um, I think her, she's cute, real slender, dark haired chick. She's like twenty seven. She's wearing a Browns t shirt, but. She went to the University of Akron. It was cool, like, kind of connecting with her. And she had, like, 70 people in the room. So, obviously, it wasn't her first rodeo. Like, she's been streaming, and I have no idea who well, she is. Well, it could have been. You know, you never know. You could get thrown into that. Where yeah, you know, oh, so. I've seen people who I've done that to people. I've stream. done that to people. I've done that to no, people. No, I mean, she, she said it wasn't her first stream. Oh, too. Yeah. Like, oh. she has but been. you never know. It's kind of funny that, you know, someone, you know, like, obviously, Snoop Dogg's first stream has. Obviously, it's not. It's different, but, like, yeah. um, yeah, I I love Meerkat. I it's so special. Um, it is. Uh, yeah, I apologize for my buddy kind of intruding. Oh no, like, it's fine. No, it's fine. Like, can I say hi? Can I say hi? Can I say hi? I want to be on the internet. <laughs> yeah, I want to be I on the internet. I want to be famous. I'm gonna kind of show you this. Is, so this is what I do on the side with my life. Yeah. You gotta tell people, Sloan, where can people uh, help support you? What are some projects you're working on? What do you do? 
What's um, your deal? Where can people find you? Well, I do sell phones on the side on eBay and Craigslist to make extra cash. Um, What's your eBay store? I don't. I haven't been using eBay for a while because my account got froze because some dude was like, oh, you, you know, he got all pissed because he paid uh, $300 for an iPhone 5 that he bid on and was pissed. It was mint condition, but when he got it, he's like, oh, I've seen other ones for Sprint sell for two and a quarter. And I'm like, well, dude, you bid on it, bro. Sorry. Like, you click the button. You click the buy it now. So you bought it for 300 and that's what – if you're feeling how eBay works, I mean, don't go clicking shit. Don't go um, clicking shit. <laughs> but – like what I do though is uh, you know I produce music and and just for Meerkat man like I have gotten some pretty decent exposure like I'm from a small city I'm from Akron and what I was explaining to like my viewers and to people it's so hard I'm in a small city because like the people that control the promoters that control this city and the rave scene and uh, you know the club scene and venues is they're like older dudes that have been in the scene for you know 10 20 years They've accumulated enough money to buy their own sound system, a very, very nice sound system to play for any international DJ in the world to play on. And with the, you know, the, the, the new EDM scene, every kid's a DJ. You know, if his parents buy him a $100 controller, he can DJ on from Guitar Center. Yeah. And then they just then they want to become the next Steve Aoki, so they're all wanting to do shows for free. Promoter charges 20 bucks a head. He makes a, a freaking gapper and doesn't pay his DJs. So veteran DJs like myself that have been in the game for a while, um, I mean, my resume includes 50-plus international DJs from Cedric Gervais, the guy who produced that Summertime Sadness song with Lana Del Rey, to, um, you know, smaller dubstep producers from the UK. But the list goes on and on, and, like, I'm not going to do stuff for free anymore. So it's like it's either I do stuff for free and play to, like, an audience of kids that are drugged out of their mind that don't really even care about the music, or I have to venture out into bigger cities, and and I have been. I've been sending labels my music. Um, I just booked a show with. Uh, have you guys ever heard of the Weekend, the R and B singer? I have not. I don't. I I I am a bad gay. I don't know any music at all. I'm an old um, man. Well, I'll pl- I could. I mean, I could play a, a track or something. Don't play it right now because it, well, it might get taken down. But um. No, I mean like for you afterwards. Yeah, sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Well, um, he's a you know he's a pretty. He's a world-renowned artist, you know, and I just booked a show with him in Milwaukee um, in July. I've got booked in five cities just from Meerkat. Um, That's club awesome. owners have popped into my stream and been like, whoa, dude, holy shit, like you have a lot to offer and a lot to bring to the table. Would you want to do, you know, a show at my club? And I'm like, absolutely. So that's an, another positive is like I don't really pay attention to the leaderboard or points. I didn't even know there was something called Mir stats. Someone told me and I checked it out last night, which was pretty cool to see. Yes, like Jeff Needles – uh venue uh joint yeah it's pretty sweet but that stuff's irrelevant to me like i was telling my people last night it's like i'm gonna practice my craft i'm gonna continue to dj music i'm gonna continue to be involved in my community and help homeless dudes and and the youth out um and if i have my phone with me i'm gonna stream it because i'm gonna be doing it anyway so that's what i, I, I just think it's that's that's is so much what i love about Mirrorcat is just we see the same same stream button that you do um it's 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 absolutely I love it so much. Um Yeah, so we can find you can find Sloan Kid at Sloan Kid S L O N E K E D. Um anything else you wanna uh put out there for people to find? Sloan Kid Actually yes. Um I don't usually do this. I'm not a big like person on likes and stuff like that. I can care less. But the thing is my <laughs> I find my Twitter, my Facebook band page and um, my Instagram got hacked. Some hack uh, guys. Some douche canoe hacked all of them because it was the same content, same password for all of them. And um, they were selling porn and Doctor Oz raspberry ketone pills from my shit, so I got shut down. Um, I made it. I worked my butt off to get eighty four hundred plus likes on my band page, which is a significant amount without paying one dollar for promotion. Um, that's pretty good. A lot of people I know, they pay, you know, $10 a day, which gets you like around 20 likes. I made it almost to 10 G's with no advertising. And because my page was hacked, I had to start all my followers over everything. The only plus was I didn't lose my pictures on Instagram, but I lost all my followers. So my real name is Sloan Kettering. Um, my AKA, my alias has always been Sloan Ked. So I actually had to shorten 
my name and change it to Sloan Ked for all of those handles. That's why Sloan Ked is now like my handle for everything. But if you guys can drop me a like on Facebook or whatever, it's uh, I'm just trying to regain my followers, you know, and I follow everyone that follows me, which it is important to a sense, like with a, with a promoter, like out of, like someone booking me out of town, um, they go look, okay, I'm gonna check his Facebook page out and his music. Holy shit, this dude's almost got 10,000 followers, local dude. Okay, obviously he's doing something positive. Versus I'm at like 900 now, which I've gotten just in like this month alone, which is pretty decent. But like it does, you know, in a promoter sense, like if someone has 10,000 person following versus 900, 9,000 versus 900, you know, person with 9,000 is going to bring a bigger draw. Yeah. It's so kind of funny. They, I had a, an article written about me just real quick. Um, yeah, they had like written, wrote an article about me, like about uh, Meerkat. They showed off like the Meerkat impact versus the amount of Twitter followers, and I thought I was like kind of offended. It's just like you don't have no idea, like like small small market like stations and stuff. Like they they have like their followers are the count are so low, but their reach is so much vaster than that's because their audience isn't on Twitter, um, or doesn't get connected to that Twitter. It's kind of funny. Just like people like I don't know numbers means too much to people on the internet sometimes, but um. I don't. I don't know. I I like him though. I don't know. I like those numbers. I don't know. Get my. I don't, it's 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 encouragement. Same with the lead the leaderboard on Mirrorcat. It's it's encouragement. Um. Right. Uh, I have Gene, way more. Go ahead. Gene, Gene Wilder's hair says leaderboard schmeaderboard. <laughs> <laughs> he said I don't look at the leaderboard. Um. But yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, sir. He was just saying like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's important. Like. I mean, some people do unfortunately look at followers, but that's no, the they thing. do. Okay. That's the thing. Yes, I've had people come to me. Where they said, "Okay, well, come to me when you know about for sponsors." Like, okay, come to me when you have a, a hundred thousand followers on Twitter, and I'm just like, oh, "Okay, guess we won't be talking because that's not what I, you know." That's kind of my point. I'm. Um, right. I'd rather have four hundred people that are actually following me than a thousand people where half of that or one percent of them are even real anyways where it ends up being i'd rather try to find more organic followers and um followers that are specific and uh unique and valuable to me um cheryl Absolutely. where can people find you at i know we've said this before but at c barrel on right. 1970 on both twitter and meerkat um i'm also on uh facebook i have um it's just called cheryl's meerkat page you can find me by searching that um, and then I also have Instagram, which is Cheryl Burwell 70. Um, but I was going to say, like, when I very first started with Meerkat, I wasn't really big into Twitter, period. Um, and I think I had maybe like 120 people following me. Like, I had nothing. And I've got like over 500 now, but I've got over 2,000 on Meerkat. So, I mean, it's just a difference. Like, most people who follow me on Meerkat don't follow me on Twitter. Yeah. Which I try to tell people, make sure that you follow me on Twitter also so I can see your comments. Because I can't see your comments right. when I go back after the stream if you're not following me on Twitter. So, uh, yeah, so I like, to, thing, I like to like and retweet and all that stuff. That's what sucks, though, is that like that that it is. We've come to that. I mean, there's kids that like. I knew some girl, um, some younger broad. I was talking to. She's a model. Um, we dated for a little bit. I don't want to blast her name, but if like she didn't get over a hundred likes in a specific amount of time, she would take the picture down off Instagram. And I'm like, well, that's absolutely absurd. Like, and then that's the thing. Though, like, in a promoter standpoint, and, you know, and they see that it sucks. It's not the content; it's your following. So it's just like they say in business: it's not what you know; it's who you know. Yeah. So if you have a, a created a, a brand for your name and you have a big following, people are like, oh, people check this guy out. Um, I mean, in my standpoint, um, not to be cock or sound cocky, but put me up against any of the best international DJs in the world. Those, those guys can't even scratch. They don't even know how. They didn't evolve with turntablism like I did. They just mix records and produce. Um, put me up in a game and I head on battle, you know, one one with Steve, o Steve Aoki. I'm going to eat him up. You know what I'm saying? Put me in a one-on-one -on -one battle against uh, um, Paul Van Dyke or Skrillex. I mean, in a DJ battle, I'm going to eat him up. And that's my personal, that's how I feel and I'm confident about it because I, I've grown up in the turntable aspect. Like, I didn't, I wasn't a producer that said, oh, okay, if I go DJ my music, I'm going to make a shit ton of money, which a lot of them did. Mm -hmm. I did it because I 
the crafts and I love the uh, the hip hop culture that I was that I was raised in. So I just kind of brought my bag of tricks, my product, my production skills and everything into the EDM world. And if you don't know what that means, it's electronic dance music. And it just sucks because it really is who you know. It's how many likes you have. So I'm a broke college kid. I don't have fucking a thousand dollars a week to promote myself. Like there's a kid that's a wedding DJ in my town. Um, that has like 22,000 likes on Facebook because he's a trust fund kid. He's got a shit ton of money and he spends $20 a day advertising his page just to get likes. Yeah. So he shows, he's booked shows. I heard he booked a show at the ice bar in Cleveland, which is like very prestigious EDM club. And they stopped him halfway through a set because he didn't even know how to mix records. Right. He was just doing like a song was ending and he'd fade one in really quick. Like beef, you could do that. You know how to do that. Cheryl, if you gave me 30 minutes of your time, I can teach you how to DJ a wedding. So it's like DJ spin that's, that that's shit. the kind of Right. That's the kind of shit I'm up against in my town and it's all like it's ridiculous. It's so it's hard, like yeah. it's all hard. The guys with talent and a real passion for the craft that that have put in their, their ten years plus and you know what I mean, have been the background DJ and have done every every type of formal setting that you could DJ in. You know, now here I am with my my E P being about to release and I'm kinda of like in some wars with a few labels, which I can't really discuss, but I'm not releasing any of my music until I'm with someone that is going to actually, like, let Respect me be heard. You, and yep. it, right, you know, the label I'm with now, I can say, you know, they're they're a great label. They're new. Uh, they're based out of San Bernardino, California. Sweet Drop Digital. They signed me a couple years ago, and every time I want to release something for free on SoundCloud, it's in my contract. I'm not allowed to. Anything that I want to release, that's my music. I have to I have to go through them first, so I just said screw it. I'm not going to produce anything, or give them any of my productions except for like maybe some mixes and shit like that that they can put on the internet for free, um, because it's not fair to me. You know what I mean? And it's like they've taken a small artist like myself. If I would have signed with with nobody or been independent, and I didn't sign a contract, um, I could probably have had my name out there even further now. Yeah. Well, Sloan Kid, you're stuff? such an ambitious young man. Uh, I think you have a, a, a bright future ahead of you on this Meerkat thing. Thank you, man. I appreciate that a lot. At Sloan Kid, S-L-O-N-E-K-E-D, uh, my favorite uh, 23-year-old now, uh, Sue Barrel 1970. Thank you so much, <laughs> both of you, for being on the Bad Beef Morning Show. You're very welcome. Thank, thanks for having us, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. You guys can find me at Bad Beef underscore, me, excuse me, hi, guys. Let's start over. Uh, let's, let's start the show over. I screwed it up. Uh, at bad underscore beef on Twitter. At bad beef everywhere else. Uh, go on over to patreon.com slash bad beef. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash bad beef. And uh, catch archive episodes of this on my YouTube, on my Twitter. And uh, thank you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks. Later.